I was able to create this amazing collage with some family vacation photos and a font from Creative Fabrica. Hi, I'm Brenda here today with Creative Fabrica and we are going to walk through all of the steps you'll need to take to transform your photos into something more. If you're new to watching tutorials on the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget the notification bell so that you can stay in the loop. There's always something fun and exciting going on around here. Now let's get into the supply list. Today I will be working with a 12 by 12 sheet of glitter cardstock. I have some glossy photo paper, my tape runner, a 12 by 24 piece of black cardstock, and my X-Acto knife to trim the cardstock down to the size of the frame. Organization in this project is crucial. I have brought in all of the photos that I would like to use and I have my page set up for designing. I know that the area that I have to work with is 23 by nine. So that is my design area here and I have it set to no map. We will change all of this when we get ready to cut. These pictures were from our trip to Vegas, so those are the letters that I will be filling. And I'm going to switch the font over to Wait. This font is from Creative Fabrica and it will be linked in the description below. I want this to fill out almost the entire width, but I want the letters to be a little bit wider and I am going to do an offset around these in a little while. So I think that is good for now. The easiest way to see if your pictures are going to fit nicely within the letters is to make a cutout of these letters. So we can grab a rectangle and draw that out. Then we can select our rectangle and the letters behind it, right click and make a compound path. Now we can slide these photos up in behind the letters and see where they fit well. We can click on the photo behind there and scale it. We just need to make sure that the photo covers the entire cutout for the letter. When I scale it down too much, you can see that the corner of the V is empty and you do not want that. Once your photo looks just right, you're going to go on to the next one. Let's pick the second one and slide it in behind the E. This one is too large as well, so let's scale it down. Now when you have all of your photos set just right, you are going to click on the template that you made and release the compound path. Click off of it and select just the rectangle, right click and delete. Now everything is ready here except for the A. We need to make a compound path with this so that it cuts out the center. Select the center of the A, hold down your shift key, select the outside of the A, right click and make a compound path. Now we can select the first photo and the V head over to the modify panel and crop. Next we can select the E and the photo behind it and crop. Just carry on with this until all of the letters have been cropped out. And now all of your photos are ready to be printed and cut. However, if you have ever been to Vegas, you know that Vegas is not Vegas without a little bit of glitter. So let's open up our offset panel select all of our letters and create an offset that can be cut out of gold glitter. Let's click apply and fill them in. And now we need to get everything organized. Let's select all of our pictures by clicking on them while holding down our shift key. Right click, copy, open up a new design page and paste. The next thing we need to do is get our page set up for a print and cut. Let's switch our mat over to a 12 by 12 and let's switch our media size to letter. We do need to turn on registration marks because this is a print and cut and let's turn on the cut border so we know for sure what area we have to work with.
by the looks of it, we are only going to be able to fit two letters on a page for the print and cut. So we can go ahead and print this off and then we'll just work through printing the rest of them. So we can go to file and down to print, check your print preview and print. Check your preferences. You wanna make sure that you have the right paper selected and you also want to set your quality to high. You can click OK and then print. When you are doing print and cut projects, you want to make sure that you close the lid during the registration process. This eliminates glare and shadows and you're going to get a better reading. You can open the lid and take a peek after it's done registering. Remember, when you are doing multiple pages of print and cut, you want to place a design on your mat, print it, cut it, and then move on to the next design. You don't want to print all of them at once and then try to cut them as the design will be moved and the cut will not be accurate. Let's go back to the other page for a moment. Copied all of our photos onto a different page and they are all set up over there. We don't need them on this page. We can select all of them and delete them. Now we are left with our offset. This is going to be cut out of gold glitter and I will be using a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Let's go up to our page setup panel choose the 12 by 12 cutting mat and set our media size to 12 by 12 as well. Make sure everything fits on there neatly. Head over to your send panel. I have cardstock glitter chosen for my material. Now all we need to do is get the mat loaded. Once it's finished cutting, you want to unload your mat, remove the excess cardstock from around the letters, then flip your mat over, keep your cardstock down flat on your work surface, and peel the mat up away from it. That's going to prevent curling. We're definitely making progress. Let's move on to the next step. I'm using a 12 by 24 piece of black cardstock for the backdrop of my photos and I decided to just trim this by hand. A tape runner is going to be sturdy enough to hold this to the backing on the frame. We can get this set in place and then we can get started on taping the letters to the glitter cardstock. It was at this point that my tape runner ran out and I had to switch over to my double-sided sticky tape from the Dollar Tree, which does work. It just takes a little bit more time. This was my favorite part of the project because you can really see it starting to come together at this point. I was able to use each letter for a different day of the vacation and this project just ended up summarizing the whole trip so well. After you get all of your letters glued to the glitter cardstock, you want to repeat the process and glue all of that to the cardboard backing. Be sure that both your letters and the picture hangers are facing up. We can set the frame backing in place now and you want to make sure that all of the little prongs are tightened down. You don't want to lose all of this work when you hang it up. I thought this turned out absolutely adorable, but my son said that we definitely needed the Vegas sign somewhere on there. So I printed a sticker of the Vegas sign and you can get that from Creative Fabrica as well. And I just placed it right on the front. I did use the parchment paper to get it placed properly. And here is the final result. 